Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Bravo Overland. I'm your host, Danger Close, and on this episode, we are off to Dishpan Springs. Now, Dishpan Springs is in between Lake Arrowhead and Big Bear, and it's considered an advanced trail, and boy, oh boy, it was an advanced trail. Uh, we, during our research of Dishpan, Dish, yeah, excuse me, Dishpan Springs, uh, it was said it only took two hours. Well, for our vehicles, the 18 Toyota Tacoma and the 2000 Forerunner, it took us 10 hours. This trail was so advanced that it, it is approximately 4.5 miles to complete this trail. Our spotters walked five miles, just going back and forth and us carefully planning our lines. Um, if you're driving a lifted jeep with uh, 35s 37s this trail should be no problem for you front and rear lockers is recommended i did it with rear lockers and 33s uh the forerunner also did it with 33s and uh, rear lockers but like i said if you're going if you're going with a, a 2.5 inch lift and 33s make sure you have under armor rock sliders uh, prepare to take damage uh, to your armor. Uh, I took some damage to my armor. Ashley, she didn't have rock sliders, so she, she took a little body damage underneath. No big deal. She was uh, planning on putting on some sliders, so the sliders will, will cover up the damage. She did crack her tail light on the very first waterfall. Uh, and she also took a little gas tank damage just to the, the armor that's underneath her gas tank. But all in all, uh, both of us did good. We made it through, especially the final obstacle, uh, which which you will see in this video was no easy task. Uh, when we got to the final obstacle, there was at least 11 Jeeps lined up to go over it. Uh, it took them about two hours to get over all those Jeeps get up there. And when we finally set up, we you know we had some lunch. We got we got in our uh, ready positions. And two other vehicles started coming the opposite direction of the trail, which uh, I couldn't blame them. It was their first time. But usually when you go go to Dish, Dish, yeah, Dishpan Springs, Dishpan Springs, you go from Arrowhead to Big Bear. Not the opposite way around, but they didn't know that. Uh, coming down the trail, they made it down very slowly. But uh, yeah, all in all, I rate Dishpan Springs as... Adv extreme advance every twist every of uh, every turn every you know every obstacle had to be carefully planned out pretty much uh to avoid damage or, or bottoming out center high uh i also recommend if you don't have a winch i took a 30 foot tow rope and a two-ton come along uh to help just in case thank god all we needed was a the tow rope on the final obstacle. Uh, Ashley, I, to her credit, she tried to take the the hardest way over the final obstacle. Me, I took a little easier way, but she attempted it and she got it over. But in the end, I had to give her a little bump to to get through. Uh, if you're at the bare minimum, uh, I recommend you go with someone else. I did see a jeep that was stock go through it, but he had about nine other friends in uh, lifted like uh, lifted jeeps uh, helping him along. So uh, take a look at the video. Judge what you think. Leave a comment below. Uh, if you've done dish dishpan springs uh, in a you know a, a stock to bare minimum thirty three uh, truck, uh, please let me know your story. Uh, if you had the similar experience than I did, but enjoy the film. Oh.
It's about to get crazy. It's about to get real, real crazy. Oh, we're at the first waterfall, and we're doing it with 33s. Usually guys come in here with, you know, uh, 35s, 37s, but we've seen a guy with 33s. In fact, it's not smaller, but we do have the clearance for it, hopefully. All right, <laughs> let's get to it.
go, go. Turn this way. Back up. No, back. What, this, this trail? It's freaking hard. Uh, but we, we coming along for the style of trucks that we have, you know, the lift and all that. You see guys coming up here with like six inch lift or, you know, four inch lift with uh, 40, uh, 35s, 37s. And you know, one Jeep told, had, had the nerve to say, oh, you know, this trail's hard, you know, in a, in a condescending tone. That's why I say that. And uh, we made it through fine while he was stuck on the rocks. But in his defense, he took the hardest way possible. I think he was trying to show off.